So has everyone spent their experience with the electric experience? I'm still holding on to mine. Oh, what I are you got, saving for? I paid. I've still got 50 left, but I'm okay for now. You mad man. I know. It's Did you need the book for talents? That's actually what I was thinking about. I can grab the book real quick. Okay. Wait, don't you have the book? Well, no, no, I have the regular book. I don't have the talent book. There isn't a talent book. Oh. It's a, the talent book is a PDF. Oh, the talent yeah. book is a PDF. Oh, okay. no, sorry. Want, if you want, I can. Or you can pull it up. Um, okay. Just look for Genesis Talents Expanded. That's mm -hmm. all you got to Google. And it comes right up on the Google. Alternatively, if you can't find it, I have it in a Google Drive for my Twilight yeah, Imperium game. Because apparently we can't get it because Eberron um, in hard copy. I don't know. So where last we left off, just to give you some backstory, by the way, is uh, the group was stuck with an ether bomb, which they basically, yeah, yeah. The, the steampunk version of the atomic bomb, which they took to a nice, beautiful, out-of-the-way place, and the ethermancer stayed there as the bomb went off, as the crew left him Because behind. he's crazy! Well, no, it's, 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 it, no. It's no, 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 no. Oh, we yeah. thought the ethermancer was a mage. He's actually a priest. That was the problem. He is divine uh, <laughs> caster instead of uh, magic, yeah. And he ether is apparently lives. his religion. Mm -hmm. the, the sacred flame. So, so... He stayed there and watched it go, and for all intents and purposes, you all flew off and had a somber, sad moment when it went And then his hair caught fire. That, and you, you, you felt a warm tingle in that vial in your pocket. Genesis talent expanded? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that should bring it up on the Google machine. Okay. God, there's not a large number of no. things in here. Literally two weapons and an armor. Yep. Then you have to go into each setting's fluff. You get the knife and I think a basic gun. A knife revolver, her yeah. heavy jacket, backpack, painkiller, and a rope. <laughs> then you need to start bookmarking every other chapter. <laughs> Because this is where the steampunk weapons are. Here's where the weird wars are. I have come to the steampunk thing enough that it just goes <laughs> it right opens right to it. that section. You need to come up with a weird west section. That needs to be a setting. It's called Deadlands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Genesis Dice. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Awesome. Genesis Dice or Exploding Savage Worlds Dice? You know, it can like the... Uh, also, can yeah. I say, why don't we have death rays on this thing? They exist. They do exist. Nobody has made a death ray yet. Because, because so yet. far, yet. yet. I can <laughs> make one. Because we. Wait can a minute. Because one. so far, the first expansion we did was engines. Now we can do weapons. This thing has breach two and vicious five. Okay, you it's and a I. death ray. Vicious five. <laughs> What's the first name in the weapon's <clears throat> name? The first word in the weapon's name. Death. It should just be called an obscene ray, because that's fucking ridiculous. You just need to make a giant anyway, airship that um, looks like a here bird. Are the weapons. That <laughs> has a death oh, ray on it. That's no move. And then all of a sudden, right over the eastern mountains comes this white airship, and you go, that's no move. All the wrong yeah, so I just <laughs> choose two of them. You have 500 credits to work with. Uh, the price is right here. So you have 500 credits to work with. And 500 credits spends really fast. Yeah. yeah. What you're seeing is a roto sword is 400. Mm -hmm. oh, the alternative is getting one of these weapons. Um, I mean, hell, even a fucking pistol is 400. Yeah. Rotor pistol is 280. There you go. That's the pricing's a bit inflated. A little bit. I'm having real trouble all figuring out what the pricing should be for our Platinum Pyrrhian game. Yeah, well, especially if you look at the Android book and then that book, the price is, and then Star Wars, the price has changed so much. I like the Android prices myself. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to kind of fix the prices based on the economy I'm generating for you guys. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Pistol goes from like eighteen hundred to eight hundred, depending on which which source book you're yeah. looking at. And hell, even in our campaign, it started out a lot more expensive than it was. Yeah, <laughs> like even before you saw it, it was. 
All of a sudden, I was like, the prices have changed. I'm going to buy more things. Excellent. So did you find the, uh, the talents? Yeah. Is this a good time to, to show your character's development that you've progressed since, since we saw them last? Um, you can buy one of these, but realistically, I have some insulated garb I can, go, I can give you because I have a flag jacket. <laughs> Or you can just go into the Ethermancer's room and say, Hey, anybody, did these belong to anybody? And everyone starts crying and they say, It's too soon. I think we're all going to be crying because he's going to be being raped by tentacles at that point. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we know he's still alive. Well, you believe he's still alive. No, we know he's still alive. We that, have a medical That's Peter's faith. That's no, we have, have a medical That's your faith. Just because her name's... Uh, One man's sure belief is another man's sketchy, sketchy faith. faith. No, hold on, I want to get a sword so that man can be silent. Uh, so there's also knives, which are all a little better. The combat knife. The knife is 25. Can I throw it? Yes. You can throw it, it would just use the ranged light skill instead of the melee skill. Which works out well for you because your melee is shit, but your range light is fine. <laughs> as as Ice T said, don't hold the knife, throw the knife. That was a good movie. So then I'm at I'm at one twenty nine. Sorry, this has taken a while. Um, it's okay. There's extra armor there, but again, I don't need it. There's backpack painkillers are basically stim packs to just heal you quick. Right. Just rub this thing. No, well, I don't actually. That's uh, for, to get for why it's easier to treat them medically. Because you know, say it was a medical, you'd want extra successes. There's some in there that yeah. it, it so really doesn't balance the economy, quick, but because okay. um, remember, um, remember triumph is a success, but then you can spend uh, the triumph uh, to get additional successes. So, so maybe it's something room. that you get like negotiation. Especially being on an airship. So you might want to get a couple I, I, of if, yeah. I mean, you know, if it was to. turn an How advantage, it's going to be fast. I can see that. would be happen. huge, yeah. Right. Especially since we all know advantages <laughs> usually yeah, come a lot more than success. <laughs> As I always tell everybody, <laughs> spending your advantage is the hardest <laughs> thing. You'll probably never lose it, but... Or double hand, you know, or four hands. It's... <laughs> Very difficult to double weapon. <laughs> yeah. Doubling the weapon basically adds an extra purple dice to it, and you need two advantages to get your second weapon to hit. But yeah. when it hits, it does a lot. you gunsling like a mofo. Uh, and then for steampunk, or if your lightsaber is this stuff, and it hits. You lightsaber like a mofo. Uh oh, sounds like he's, he's torn. No. He's it's torn like our Ethermancer was at point zero. No, actually nothing really just kind of springs out to you. Right. So are, are, are you looking for the social or the combat or the I, I, I don't want something that, well, maybe, uh, they were maybe we could, I think we can do a deal. Three or four. So, so that is something we do kind of need. Yeah, because we know the... And that was technically what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, that and Mar uh, when Margie was with us. Mm -hmm. All right, you spent all your money. Uh, so what's a tier one? A uh, tier one costs five. At thirty-one, thirty-one, the amount of money that you still have. Left. Okay, yeah, I'll take and that's your pocket change. Because I've kind of been doing right that now. too, and my contacts with uh, uh, Castilian. Mm -hmm. For some reason, James is feeling very generous towards you. I got the token. Some starting XP. And the contacts. And he, he will gladly give him forty XP to spend. Oh boy. As so, long as he can spend it quickly. Yeah. So, if you can't, then you can still spend it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is your so well, there's two so like, you spend if on. this helps, um, you can look at these classes. Oh, have so you have zero defense. The entrepreneur. Right. The defense is split into money. Uh, I was going to take zero and zero. Okay. That seems to be uh, what we're doing. Although money be really doesn't count. Your bronze plus what the armor gives you. It's a character. It gives you plus one. Yeah, see, I choose one character. Because see, this will, this is one that reminds me of Peter, is the sound investments. At the start of each session, you get 100 credits for each rank in sound investments. 
You automatically just really? start. Yes. I will take that. <laughs> you might want to look at the book. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there's some little being there that have not touched one. the so it's uh, the genesis. Bronze plus one, so four. Each Basically, each session, session, you, 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 like you immediately have to deal with the dealing privately. I don't think you need to look at anything else. You subtract four from the amount. It basically is a, a meta way here. of saying Sorry. that you've been wheeling and dealing with buying the right bottle of booze at each port. Of course, each time you buy sound investments, it goes up like five points. So no. it's five for the first one, ten for the second one. No, it'd be, so sound so investment you can, would you be like the second rank. Sound yep. investment, we'll third rank. Exactly. So I have to have bought uh, lower things before Yeah, so you that. go with the five, the okay. ten, the yeah. fifteen, the twenty. And then there's something called greased palms, which is, uh, oh, that's, the, I think you already have something similar where you can spend the cash to reduce the difficulty. Um, no, somebody. Okay. So, yeah. Although that's a legal, oh, that's only for legal items. This is what yeah. Next thing is Greased right. palms is the other other the class. class. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay. You want to create a pyramid like this? Alright. But yeah, sound investments is a good one because it's automatic cash in pocket. So do you have an idea on how you're spending yours? He's currently copying down the tower. Okay, the pyramid. Honestly, he, that's that's fine. All right, that's fine. You're not gonna get past that. Oh no, no you're, you're only gonna go a couple down. Uh, so put tier one, tier two, tier three. To give you an idea why everyone likes Genesis, is this is the Star Wars version. Yeah, yeah, you, have you have to go, to go down the spaghetti tree. tree. Some connect, yeah. some don't connect. And in Genesis, you get to pretty much create your own house. However, right. you'd like to build it. So, um, what were the two Moon Talents we have? There's the Uncanny Senses and then the what? Is it no? You should have the other one. It's probably. Uncanny you Senses know. and then the. Down at the bottom. Oh, con congenial. Congenial. Uh, Let's you add the blue. Three to modify charm or negotiation. Yeah. Because those are the ones you naturally get because that's what your crew is. I'll pull up the. Uh, it's a great way to give your crew an additional story. talent just because. Since you guys are technically uh, smugglers. Hell yeah. Thanks, Steampunk Firefly. Only they drop ether bombs. <laughs> Antique old ether bombs. Hey, hey we the Firefly crew got all of the Reavers right. in the universe. They, that is true. To <laughs> uh, <laughs> go after the <laughs> Union. Oh, it's the Alliance. The Alliance. <laughs> yes. I thought it's greased palms or uncanny senses. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. All right. So, oh, uh, uncanny senses is is just really good, but Greased Palms is also nice, and you might like it because of the fact that you're an undead. Yeah, uncanny so skills are cool. If you're by the ship, you, you yeah. notice yeah. things better. Your, your, your ability to perceive things, right? And you're cool, and your perception are yeah. enhanced. All right. Um, and the Greased Palms is basically you can spend money to decrease the difficulty of social skill checks, which a Does lot of social skill checks are too. either presence or cunning. No. <laughs> Be nice for play or what? Can you? Yeah. Not for present. Yeah. Well, no, it decreases. Oh, it does, huh? What did you get? Big phones, you said? I got you know, yeah, actually I got Mama Scarf. <laughs> Very adorable. <laughs> He's got the. Good old Wolf Lizard. Oh, they're tier two in the That's why they're not in here. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, you guys, what's so, the first the thing? So what's the good. first thing you guys did after you realized that uh, he, he he's gone? He's not we have good. to go. Yeah. They're in denial. No, it's totally denial. <laughs> Denial's not a place southwest of their current location. <laughs> As me cried, she went down to her engine room. Yeah, so feel the soft ether okay, throngs so of the engine. Is, yeah. uh -huh. Two ludites per rank of it. Two your, your so I'm assuming you, of course, just, first thing you did was to try to head back to your contestants, right? Sure. No. No? The first thing well, we did they is we have need to find out what actually happened after the bomb went off and get back Isn't there. Isn't quintessence the place to do, do that since they're the authority on the He's wanting to go back to ground zero. Yes. Then let's go. I think we go back to ground zero. 
Sure. Okay, yeah, so, so you're, you guys begin turning the airship, and our pilot should probably give me a pilot roll. As you guys are heading towards this whole stormy blend of, of winds that just blow, it's going to be against three purple. And let's get our light side, uh, dark side points here. Did we explain what the destiny points were? Nope. So, by the way, to our newest member of the table, these are light side, dark side points for Star Wars, and they also work for destiny points for here. When you start play, you guys each get a point. I get to and steal one. And depending on your, your species, like the human can steal a dark side, which is mine. Because I'm like, like boring, plain, yeah. plain Jane, Jane human. human. So, so what you do with, the, do with these is you can flip one and make a minor you can de declare something, just like, yes, we have air breathers on the ship or something like that. Something minor, you know, not like story breaking. Or when you're doing a skill roll, say your skill was two green and a yellow, you could upgrade one of those green into another yellow, which is hugely powerful for the price of one. All right. Or Literally anyone can reach for it and upgrade it. Yeah, so you could do it for another person. So if yeah. you, Joseph was rolling against something and you felt that he needed an extra boost, you could flip it. You're yeah, like, for him. you're like, we're sneaking in to get the princess. We need to get the princess. Flip. You're you're, you're not want wanting to princess. trust his bad <laughs> If we don't get the princess, the story doesn't progress. And pretty much, I can do the exact opposite of increasing the difficulty to your checks. Like I was or some right. bad guys have abilities that require me to flip one to use, and just like some good guys have abilities that require a light side to use. But oh. whoever calls it first gets it, so yeah. he can't flip There's one, only one after flip we flip her roll. Yeah. and vice versa. Anyway, it's a two success, two threat. Two success, two threat. Okay, so you're 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 having him pull the ship back. Well, the threat's towards... gonna be those winds. Oh yeah. 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 To towards and you're just hearing the right. the ship so get hit with turbulence and snap back and forth. Yeah. As the ship's going to take too strain, uh, you don't mind writing it down. Or you want me to write down for it. This, this is you? just a gimme yes. oh. for this setting. It doesn't count. But basically, you have to get this. And in order to get to this, you have to have filled in the pyramid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, the alternative is you can spend him experience to upgrade your skills. So you have one rank in court. As you know, does the career give you ranks and things? Or is it just telling you what your career is? It basically gives you an option of like six skills, and you get to pick a rank in four. Do you? I didn't even read that. Yeah. Um, it's basically you pick four out of the ranks of, the, of, of what options they got you there. As opposed to the Star Wars one, which would give you two additional skills on top of that. Which is the one sad thing yeah. is Star Wars gives you more skills, which is nice. Because more skills. So immediately you guys are all hearing the ship getting baffled and shaken as he's steering right towards this, this strange gold diamond shape floating in the middle of just the blasted glass of the dirt. Basically, the, the, the epicenter of the explosion is this weird, glowy, throbbing rift right there. It's about, it's about 12 feet tall. And no matter what angle you look at it, it looks so like career skills you have, oval shaped like this. Take it's almost like the oval shape moves with your eyes. You know I'm going to say it. Go ahead. Space vagina. <laughs> That's what I call them a wow. Layline rift from rifts, okay? Blue I mean, like if you space play in time vagina. World of Warcraft that does cool. space vaginas from the void elves. Like and that's what Rift looks like. She's a shooting. vagina. <laughs> now we said vagina on the internet. Repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> vagina, vagina, vagina. <laughs> okay. The JJ. So, I like so, that term. So, 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 are you wanting the ship to get to that? Those are social skills? As, like, as you're being baffled by the, the winds. Is there, a, is there an area of calm? Um, now, in between the gold thing and the winds. No, no, it's, 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 remember this explosion just five, happened just mere, happened. mere minutes five ago, the and, and, and you can practically see a glow, an ether um, glow on everything on the ship that you're there in the area. You're feeling this, this effervescence of ether everywhere. So it's, it's literally palatable in the air. Upgrade yeah, and I have to take really my long. goggles off, I'm that's assuming, because it's probably five. blinding five. the ether. The, blind, the goggles are glowing on their own yeah. visibly. Okay. Uh, so their engines got like ether cool flames coming out of the sauce. So, 
We want to see like a once around, even though he follows, follows us. Okay. It's a two. Okay. And it's ten. And it's obvious five, that he's five, not there. Okay. And then give me a perception roll. As, as, as you go up to the spyglass, so, uh, you can add a blue dice for the spyglass, because it's working really so well with the ether here. You can't do this. Uh, what you um, said? You were uh, perception? For perception? So if you were going to so take Christmas, step three, you have to buy three. two. And it's going to be it's two purple and two black, black. Because the wind and the dust and the ether. Two black. Ten plus five. One blue for the spike glass. You know, I'm upgraded. Oh, and I want you to be able to see as much as possible. And we get the extra blue for the ship. Yep. So one green and the yellow. All you want. Because I have hope. Oh, yeah. so you you, have, you all down. have hope. Hope is a real uh, thing. So you can buy it, it should be stepped on and squished like the little bird it is. <laughs> and there is this big ass PDF of all the different talents you could possibly want. Ooh. Okay, so we'll count that. Very well. It is two successes and. That is a threat or a fail? So, oh, okay. One success. Two successes. Oh, oh yeah. Two oh, successes and three. Success. Or, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so one success and four advantage. How would you like to spend your four advantages? Do it really quick. Okay. It would, would be like two. As you're swinging that have, spyglass can, around can, looking. Can we have the ship find a pocket of calm so it doesn't take as much damage? You clearly point out to, to your pilot of, hey, right there, there's a safe spot. And you're seeing, like, because of the architecture of the, the ground that was, like, <laughs> trees and mountains, it's now just a small mound. Not there's a little, little lull in the current. A lay. A lay. Or the so, lee side of that. Tier one, they all cost yeah. But he did get a success. Yes, and you you are, you you have him pull into this area so it slows down the baffling happening. As you you survey the area and you're seeing nothing but devastation, and then when you start to focus right at the the golden e ethereal rift that's there, you notice from one point of view, especially now that you pulled into the safe spot, there seems to be what looks like. A law, and it takes you a second to, to look a couple times and realize what you're seeing is what you're seeing is a long shadow of a humanoid form, oh. and this shadow stretches for like a hundred feet. Like if you were like really co compacted, it's a person's shadow, but it's stretched, and it's huge, and, and and all of a sudden you feel kind of choked up, and just as you're 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 getting choked up, thinking something happened. Your, your spyglass locks onto the, the shadow, and you notice in front of where the feet of the shadow start, there's a pair of footprints that, that literally have burned into the ground. Mm -hmm. And you see the footprints trail off, and there's these, these melted in the, the earth footprints. I think we should follow them. It's probably, think, Aaron. It's yeah. probably Aaron. I think we need to follow the footprints. Okay, so so basically, uh, you're gonna as as best as possible. Yeah. You, you you give out the direction and the bearing, and your pilot is uh, following the footprints as they go for a while, and then all of a sudden, you're noticing after about two or three miles, the footprints start getting wider and wider apart. Like he's like, like it's running jumping or, or skipping, jumping or... but we're talking like forty feet between steps. John Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of like Superman learning to flop, to, to leap tall buildings in a single bound. That's certainly weird, but okay. So continue to f kind of follow okay. and like start looking up as well because I'm figuring there has to be some type arcing. of arcing. Okay. What direction are these going? It's, it's actually heading east of your location. Because okay. you were in Turkey where you, you, you set it off, and it's heading kind of easterly towards the Himalayas. All right. Give me an uh, astrogation, you might be able to find out more. Against two purple. But you know what? Let's do one of those purple red, because why not? 
because you want to show off the system to the new guy. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, I like it. Yeah. That would have been a time. Ooh, triumph! To, that would have been a time to roll a despair too. Yeah. <laughs> so so he's rolled the triumph, which is basically the natural twenty on the yellow dice. It's only on the yellow dice, so it's really good. What it happens? It's not only a success, but it's a su- success with other awesomeness slathered off. Which one was the triumph? It's That's the yellow. cool lightsaber looking one on those dice. Cool. You'll notice uh, cool. Scott's using the uh, Genesis dice, which are slightly different shaped. That's I mean, a well, despair. Yeah. yeah. All right. As opposed to that, which is the despair on that barrel. But I honestly prefer the Star Wars Star Wars. And on the dice, advantages and threats take each other out. Success and failure take each other out. But despair and and triumph triumph both happen, which is cool. It makes it super narrative. So as I I got just enough advantage to cancel out the threat, so it's uh, triumph and four successes. Okay, so easily you you're guiding the airship and you're looking at you know, Peter's Peter's looking through the spyglass and you're looking at the the actual ether tracker on your map that's the, the needle that's following your, your course and you're realizing it is making a straight B line for the last ten miles and you're thinking you you go over the chart and you're just like okay whip out the chart. Straight line. Let's what's, follow. What's and, in front of us? And you are bisecting the map, and you realize that as as you're doing this straight line, you're king. Okay, no, that's that's some pass that some guy's been to. Okay, that's close to the Himalayan caps. Okay, and you're realizing Tibet is on the other side of the mountains. Dead opposite side. Dead straight line to it. All right. Um, what's the ceiling on our airship? Just above the top of the Himalayas. Okay. So. So so, so you probably yeah. don't want to go over the Himalayas. You want to go around the Himalayas. Yeah. Is is to better well, like passes. is like it's obviously a holy place in general, but is it a holy place is to say like the Church of Aether, her and Quintessence, or? The the Church of Quintessence hasn't said anything about it specifically, but quite a few of their practitioners have gone there to meditate and learn and develop themselves internally. Is that something I would know? Give me a roll and let's find out. Just raw knowledge? Uh, yep, raw, you know, either lore if you have it, or just straight knowledge roll. Just straight knowledge it is. As you're like, I heard this thing about a thing once. We go to the Himalayas. Uh, it's going to be against three purple. All right. Oh, and you're going for the upgrade. Yeah, let's get the economy going. That's an important thing, Michael. Yeah, I'll have do- an economy any of these things. It makes the yeah, game a lot more interesting. Don't let the economy stagnate, because it's, it's, if you want to succeed, you can choose to succeed. That'll do. I don't roll failures, apparently. I just roll threat. Um, so one threat and... Three success. Okay, so one threat. I'm going to use that quite simply as you're sitting there at the charts, and all of a sudden you realize, oh, yeah, and the airship bolts, and, and <laughs> oh. all of a sudden you hit a air pocket, and you just you bounce 100 feet as he runs over and puts the rope on the, the pedal and the till. So as he uses like, the what the hell is going on up there? Sorry. <laughs> the ship's taken three strains so far. As he realized, he was so into this whole... Wait a minute, I heard once that ethermancers go to study with the Dalai Lama and things in Tibet to become one with the ether in themselves. Because that's just as important as being one with the ether in general. Can I counteract the strain? You can repair the strain. I'm going to do the repair. Okay. All you need is advantage to get strain back. That's super easy with mechanics. (laughs) And it's just too perfect. As immediately our engineer, you know, scrappers, you know, getting to work down there, trying to patch to things up. Giving skills to okay, so I got a... You can, you can go above like one. Nike. So you succeed in your mechanics yeah. roles. I got one advantage yeah, and two successes. On the plus side, the ship is spick and span and working nicely, but you do still have two strain left on the ship. Okay, but only two. Only two. And, and you are mechanically repaired. Social encounters and... So, of course, you guys are heading in a straight line, but then you realize, you know, he points out that 
hey guys, maybe we shouldn't go to the big scary mountains with the storms that are a couple hundred miles in front so of us. Maybe, let's go around those. Maybe we should plot a course. So, you know, I'll use that same astrogation rule that he rolled that he plots a course, you know, to, to bisect these storms that are going on there, especially since the bomb went off. Nature seems kind of cranky right now. Yeah. As, as you're just seeing, like, clouds drop 300 feet into the Himalayas, it's just nothing but storm clouds. But you're clearly seeing like path of some kind of hot thing, like the sun is walking across the countryside. And then you're seeing like trees with the branch bisected off as a clean lightsaber ish bird. Is not a good thought. Bird? It's probably bird. just Aaron. You're, you're thinking, hey, yeah, this is like that means he's like radioactive. This is the like eighth version. Yeah, of this was, wasn't this he is always like, radioactive? <laughs> this is this is like yeah when he had all of that ether and shot the beam. Yeah. So and, and as, as you're realizing this could be this could be him. Yeah. He, he could have walked off somehow. Well, oh, it's super, gotta be him. He's usually good. Yeah, it's gotta be him. No, 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 actually. No, we it's either him or it's the evil thing that I tried to take over. Yeah, I don't think you really that. Yeah. No, I do. You guys were all about so monkey by the darkness. Yeah. I figured I figured well. out that you guys were butt monkey and didn't uh -huh. get butt monkey myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, no, do, I however, do not know that the high monkey muck got right. butt monkey. Yeah. <laughs> you were too busy saying, let's get off this station. Okay, so as you guys are plotting your course, course yeah. is one day. Now, are you guys going to go your north of the Himalayas or south of the Himalayas? So it has a um, that's not like how Himalayas work. Not see a third ranking charm. Well, you're going around them, so yeah, are you going to go? Charm. I thought. Well, there's okay. No path. But there, there's, there's east and west. Yeah. There is it so north because we should be south of them, them now. No, that's mm -hmm. how that works. So you, right? you, you, well, that's what I'm saying. Is are you going to go this way or are you going to go this way? Okay. So I'm also assuming that there should be some type of path through. I don't have to go all the way around. Okay, you can find a path through there. Is there a path on the charts? There is a pass, but passes are dangerous compared to going completely around. That's an option there. Oh, oh because there's a lot of storms that go up and down. Yeah, so, so you have an option. You can go yeah. through passageway, or you can opt to go to safe, slow way. I'm going to leave that decision up to the pilot and the engineer. We all know it's a poor idea. He'll say, what's the fastest way? I will not say what's I'll the fastest the, way. I'll say the so safest way. The fastest way will get you back in the laboratory. The safest way will protect my ship. My laboratory is right down the hall. True. So which so option are you going to go for? The slow slow path or the, so or the quick path? He's saying the slow path. It We've already take, we still have two strain on the ship. I mean, are you going to report that up the pipe? Yeah, well, yeah. It's like... She's getting a little rough I'm still doing here. repairs. Okay. I guess we'll go the slower route. Okay. You. So you're taking the slow path, and about, you know, one day into the travel, you realize that uh, you're seeing a little SOS flare shoot up. And oh, wait, we're, we're a full day into the travel? Yeah. Okay. Does Hilda has medicine, if I remember correctly? Okay. Doesn't she? She does. Okay. Can she start healing me so I'm not one wound away she, from death? She, yes, she can basically tenderly mercy you with her, <laughs> her care. Okay. So As she's like, come back to the full day, bring a a full day full fly. recovery screen, correct? So so go ahead and not worry about it because we'll we'll screen swipe we'll... and and you guys you've been tendered by her mercies and, and you are back to full. All of you guys are back to full on strain and, and wounds. Mm -hmm. Except for poor Gallimac. As all of a sudden, your pilot saying, "Hey guys, there's an SOS flare going off," and, and you know, there's a Ow. see that it's just like that. As you guys see the SOS flare go off, basically universal flare type of deal. Are you gonna stop for the flare? I mean, we seem to be kind of in a hurry. Like, can I see what's down there? Okay, so roll? since we went, we if, since we went to like left or right, <laughs> um, how close are we to like the straight line of what would have been the path? 
you, you're going pretty much south. Okay, so we're pretty sure that this flare is not related. No. Yeah, you're pretty sure okay. this is, if anything, it could Just be weird it. weather due to the, the, the bomb going off, or maybe somebody made a mistake of looking at the bomb when it happened. So it's going to be against two purple. Unless someone's really concealed down there really well. Which doesn't seem to be the case. Ooh. Failed. There's nothing down there. You see a crashed airship. <laughs> now, what <laughs> nation is your character from, or what? Who reanimated you? Uh, Since you are a revenant. <clears throat> and what career are you? Uh, oh man, hard questions. I shoot, I shoot him in salvos. Yeah. Career. Okay, so scoundrel. Scoundrel. All right. Scoundrel. Yeah, cool. Okay. Probably write that down. So, so, so we don't want to tell the new people that you're a scoundrel. What will you tell us? But what I am not a crook. Are, what I nation is you, are you from? What what nation airship would you have been on? Or just where scoundrels. is your where is your dead body from? We're hmm. in the 1880s. Where were yeah. where were you right. where 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 were you raised? Where was I raised? When you were living. I was in. I was born in Washington. Earth. So, so America? America. America. This is Europe. Oh, this British. is Europe. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, but I'm is, British. All right. So, I mean, they're, they're all Americans. Colonies. Yeah, there are the colonies are there. Actually, aren't they semi-independent? They're they're no, semi they're independent, but, but yeah, the, the British dependent. always refer to them as the colonies. Right to this day, they still refer to them. So, so you're you're from America? Yes. Okay, so so you notice there's a crashed airship, obviously due to its American design. And, and basically, you know someone down there launched a flare to get your attention. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go down there. Okay, so... so Bring us down to it. You, you were bringing down the airship. Now, what do they see when they get down to the ground and you're there? You're the guy who shot the flare off, by the way. So, Surprise. So, Surprise. For being undead, can I, like... Reattach my arm, stuff like that. Well, that? we'll say that you you spent time out here, and all of your living crewmates died of exposure. All right, and you're the last one alive, basically because of your condition, where the doc saved your life from a certain point of view. All right, it's all up to you and how you died the first time. So, what do you look like? Um, and, are, and are you concealing your ghoulishness? Uh, yes, I'm gonna be concealing my ghoulishness so that we know when it. Will try to kill me again. Okay. That's smart. We have we have a history of turning things into fine mist, <laughs> especially when scary revenants show up. I, I remember that. We all get like a perception roll, don't we? Yeah. Well, are you telling them as you're bringing the ship down? Is Hilda's tenderly mercying you with her tender mercies? <laughs> yeah, I'll go on, on the pipe. We got one. By the way, that's his love interest on the All right. <laughs> yeah, and she's, she's a super spy. Super spy yeah. extraordinaire with poison lipstick. I mean, knockout lipstick. I like She's her. a knockout when she wears the lipstick. <laughs> so, so are you saying anything on the speaking tubes? Yeah, the crew? I'm on the tube. I was like, we got one. We got one on the landing. Okay, me and my nephew will go down to the little. Um, he has an extended family on this airship at this point. <laughs> to, to, the, to the rope thing. Okay, the little and, little three right, cargo hole. Would, right. So that way we can drop down the little thing that you step on. Okay, a little, pl little oh, yeah. wood plank the that you can plank. stand on. I'll operate the winch. Okay, so you're out there and this airship with its lights are on. It's it's, it's close to the evening, so you know, you're know you lucky they spotted your flare. You've been out here how long? Uh, five days. Okay, five days since your airship crashed. It's Everyone died quickly of exposure. Mm -hmm. Storm and, came through. Yeah. A vicious storm. And, and, and immediately from their airship, from the cargo bay, the hatch opens and they're dropping a rope with a, a wood platform that you can stand on to be pulled up. Yeah, I'll get on there. Okay, so Hold on. all of your belongings on you. And, and as you guys are wenching him up, what is what do you look like when they see you as you're coming up through the floor of the, of the deck? I look good like well, a... Actually, look. before we see him, he sees a roto pistol. Oh, basically, it's like a mini Gatling gun pistol that you crank up and then it whirs right. when you shoot. No offense, but we don't know. Yeah, that's right. I am not a crook. So, 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 what does Peter look like with his pistol drawn? Since he's never seen Peter before. Peter is. Uh, is he wearing his coat? He is wearing his coat. 
It's like, cold. Yeah. <laughs> his his, his, uh, okay. his uh, penis looks like one of the statues <laughs> of the European general with the long coat. He's a, he's a modern major general. I am a modern major general. Yes. The big collar. With the big collar, piercing eyes, the aura of authority, and a big pistol. <laughs> That's gone very That's good. Good. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, actually does he ask to come aboard? Do you that is usually polite society yeah. on oh, and I'm there, come aboard. Which I am And she's got the big switch controlling <laughs> the winch. Um, I am five six, I have uh, um, auburn hair that's usually stuck up in a uh, cap, um, covered in grease marks. I'm the engineer, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm operating the winch, but I have a massive wrench. And her fancy Don't. steampunk goggles. Yeah. She's a winch! <laughs> yes. uh, well, I do ask to come aboard. My character looks normal. From like, normal. 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 <laughs> normal. Normal. The reason I say that is because I was in a crash. <laughs> Checking for tentacles. Yeah. So, <laughs> normal, human body, and all that fun stuff. Uh, scruffed up because, again, Crash. Crash. You've been surviving on yeah. the side of a mountain. And then uh, black hair. Gorgeous eyes. What color? Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an albino? That yeah. explains the pale. <laughs> <laughs> but then no, an albino wouldn't have black hair, though. Yeah. Ah, but he's a re yeah, revenant. So, Maybe do it was part we of know the this? Do all revenants have pink eyes? No. Or do they? I don't think they do. Although the one you've met already didn't. He had steel eyes. Steel eyes. He did have irregular colored eyes. Yes, he did. Okay. Little do they know their contacts, but now I can see. How, how, really, how do you smell? <laughs> You're a dead body. How do you smell? But yeah, I mean. That's a good question. How do you smell after being crashed for five days? Oh. Not like a piece of rotting meat. There we are. Uh, <laughs> do revenants smell like corpses? Or? Yeah. I don't think they do because the bacteria would probably be gone. Not. I mean, part of the there... embalming process. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they. Well, it also <laughs> depends they... upon whether he has problem. that special passing talent. Do you have that special passing talent? I was thinking of becoming a revenant. What, what talent? What passing? I'm it's assuming a, you a did passing for there's a, there's a talent that lets you keep your Pass revenantness in oh. check. So, yeah, so it's there, obvious he's a there, there is the, uh, as right. it's, it's much as from your point of view, you look beautiful, there's a hint of revenant corpse <laughs> going on here. <laughs> as your cheeks are pulled back a little too tight. All right. So it's looking a, like a ghoul from What's your moment. presence, by the way? That's your, the last of your stats. Yeah. One. Yeah, no, you, he you looks, look like a He revenant. looks like <laughs> death walking. <laughs> Probably because he's been stuck on the side of a hill for days. I don't know, can he deceive us? <laughs> can you? Can I look for that? Deception? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be a red. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who's got the highest perception of the group? Uh, I've got a yellow and two green. I've okay, two so green. that's a red and two purple. So go ahead and roll your deception against. against a red and two purple. Right, so. And then as you basically oh, and an extra black for the ship. Oh, and an extra black because everyone's super perceptive at their ship. As you're trying to like, you're you're making sure to throw the scarf around like the jagged marks on your neck. Uh, that's based on cunning, so it's four dice. So Two quick question: While you're getting your dice pulled together, how did you die the first time? I got shot. Okay. But with what? With what? Was it a death ray? <laughs> <laughs> or was it just a regular bullet? Regular woman. Okay. Unfortunately, it was human. So. Did you die in the what? Civil War? <laughs> <laughs> that could have no, been. this is a valid yeah. question. I'm sorry, not the Civil War, the... Uh, um, We're between the states. Yeah. Or 1812? Or, or 1812. Well, yeah. No, 1812 would have been 80 years ago, right? Yeah. Well, ago. how long He's do you remember? Right? Yeah. Well, but I thought I thought 1860s was the, the Civil War. Uh, let's say Civil War because that was the 1860s. Okay, yeah. So it's less than 20 years ago. And he is from Washington, uh, so maybe oh. he's. You were, were you a Union soldier in the Civil War? Yes. Or if you were, yes. so, if you were. Ooh, I, like what I don't remember he, anything. What clothes is he actually wearing? Are, was there a uniform that you were wearing above your on your old ship? 
Or did you just grab all the or dead body I just, clothes and put them I on? just grabbed some clothes because all my wrong okay, ones so, ripped up. so you got this like hodgepodge of different yeah. outfits on because you just like to close up the dead guys. Cold, you, you know, I'm trying to, again, cold, dry, trying to survive, stole everything. Everything looks mix match, you know, from like. Though you don't Barnes. actually feel the cold. I'll, right? I'll actually give you a blue dice to help you there because with your mismatched clothes, it's kind of, you know, covering up some yeah. of him. Blue. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. I was coming to my first. All right, let's do so this. Go for it. And now partial out your successes and failures. And I see lots of success and lots of failures. I've so start Ooh, pulling you actually got a success. Start pulling no. your dice together so right. you can take out I, I, what's not removed. There's two threat, but like that's uh, that's a pass. Yeah, you. So right, these are failures. Yeah. So, so, so they cancel all the failure. So you have one success and two threat. So the two threat, I'm going to go ahead and give you as strain. Basically, you're sitting there, sh you know, shivering on the pole, please looking very sadly of let me come on to your ship dog eyes. Before, I <laughs> find out, before I find out if I can freeze solid and stay animated. <laughs> please, I need to survive. <laughs> For the and love of God. But your undeadness seems to be hidden just enough, probably because there's icicles hanging off your nose and ears and... Thank God for you, your... You, you look like you should be half dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for your remnantness because the formaldehyde does not freeze. So, so do you do you guys let him on the ship? Yeah. Okay. It would be you, inhuman you don't do that. You, you always want to know what your threshold is. Just put a slash and then the number of strength. And the nice thing is when you get advantages, you can use those to get rid of strength. No, Basically, don't, it's... Don't do that. Put, no. 11 is always the threshold. Threshold. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put the eleven and then the slash. Okay. So so you guys let him on board the ship. You realize, hey, if I was in this situation, I hope somebody so, would do it for me. What is your name? My name is Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no relation. No relation. Well, he hasn't been born yet. So no relation. Did you have children before you lived before you died? <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> Maybe. Wish did. <laughs> what do you think killed me in the first place? <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, so, 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 how do you introduce yourself to, to the crew? Nixon. Thank you, my my friends. Because he's I not am a Richard crook. Nixon. <laughs> I am not a crook. <laughs> he's not a scoundrel. <laughs> I am not a scoundrel. We are. Just from <laughs> <laughs> what nationality is Nixon? <clears throat> As Peter's trying to place it, because he comes from a line that can trace its name back. He's the Russians. Uh, well, and, and uh, I would know most of the European yeah, yeah, last names. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, and Nixon, like, that's Nixon, a made-up That is a made-up That's up a made-up made name. Made up that name. Has to, yeah. He has to be some criminal who was aboard this ship under a made-up name, but that's okay. But I so make up names all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, your entire character. <laughs> I make up names all the time. I just want to know what he's going to say. My name's Newman. <laughs> Newman. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually American. American. Interesting. American. <laughs> okay, so you guys basically have oh, a hot pipe. Uh, he sounds American. He sounds American. Because I do know accents. You do know accents. Oh, that's wonderful. We need to talk. I need to work on my American accent, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, aha, uh -huh, another, another cover identity. <laughs> Is there anything on your so ship that's salvageable? Useful. Beside body parts. Are you talking about beside body parts or? Ooh, that's getting. I'm huge. covered in engineering grease. What do you think? <laughs> you get, you get the idea. She's talking about engineering stuff. I oh, said yes. shit. You oh, did have, not say people. Do you have any rigs and mechanics? Mechanics? No rigs and mechanics. You have no clue by cool. the way. <laughs> so so whatever you want to tell her, you can tell her. I have no idea. You could go check if you want. Oh, you being honest with me. <laughs> I will actually. Once okay. we get him stowed, I. So uh, what were you what were you doing aboard the ship? Do you give him some hot boiler water in a cup? Hey, I've always got a tea what brewing. Type of, what type of ship was it? Cargo military. It seems to have been a, a civilian, but a very nice civilian ship at one point. Probably like it could have been either private industry or diplomatic. Okay. What kind of ship was it? It was a. Uh, and are you telling him the truth? 
You can't just ad hoc and make it up yourself, by the way. And ju I'm just not wanting to know if you're telling him the truth or you're lying. Out of character. We I'm going to tell them the truth. Okay. It's a civilian ship. I was, uh, we were driving around, and the next thing we know, we lost control. In a storm. Strange flash in the, the sky. I was blinded by a, by a flash of light. Blinded by the light. Blinded that would have been, been 5 would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. Okay. It was some other natural blinding occurrence. Oh. <laughs> so, were you a passenger or crew? I was a passenger. What do you remember? Amnesia is what you think. <clears throat> or your amnesia, amnesia just... I knew I was sitting down. And so all of a sudden you guys don't... You don't know, but the crew notices there's a giant piece of metal sticking out of the back of his head. <laughs> like, oh dear! <laughs> I don't feel anything. Like yeah, just... Oh, it hurts now. Do residents yeah. eat? They can. Is there, actually a big, is there actually a big pipe out of the back of his head? No, no. Okay. <laughs> unless, you want it, unless you want it to be a good reason for amnesia, to be Wolverine, you know? Yeah. No, if you want, that can be a thing. Yeah, it, would also, it, would, it, would, it would also kind of give away the fact that you're a revenant. Yeah. It does. That's good. <laughs> Eventually, you have a feeling within close quarters with them, they'll pick up that you're a revenant once you warm yeah. up. I want to say, like, it's not a, nothing too damaging, but there's, like, something in there that's... Small, small stick of piece of metal yeah. that just hits you in the brain stem just right. That yeah. Once they start pulling it out, it keeps getting bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. Yeah. And you're like, oh my god. Oh my god. How did that get in there? Okay, so Scrapper, you're going down to the, the you're taking the line down to the ship. Yeah. Go ahead and roll okay. your Is there anyone control. else alive down there before you go down? And she's she's heading down. She's like, no, no one else is alive. I'm the only survivor. Okay. It's it's gonna be. He said there's no one else down there. And too black for the weather. As as, as you pull your goggles down, I'm assuming to get a blue, and to keep the, the the cold wind out of your eyes. You can add a blue. Yeah. And a second blue. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you are looking the ship. Oh, okay. And this is kind of what you can spend the on. And then this is when you're learning to combat. So you're immediately looking for any kind of scrap that you can get? Uh, equipment, uh, engine parts, well, she's anything doing that. That. Weapons? Yeah, while she's doing that, you guys are, t are converting to Triumph! Okay, so I got a Triumph. Uh, no. I got I one threat like and one success. Okay. So, I, I, a general's coat would have, and then it describes choice. the some weapons. All right. Or, I just love, so I have to crash. I, armor. I'm just being mean. So what, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? Weapons or armor? Like armor for a person or armor for a ship? Armor, armor for a ship. You're looking for strictly mechanics. Ship. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll know ship armor? Something I'll just know. No, I'm. S that's, weapons that's for the looks ship like or armor it. for the ship? That looks like a. You're rolling yeah. strictly okay, ship mechanics. Let's go weapon. Okay, weapon. Okay. So immediately, Scrapper disappears into this pile of metal, by the way, and she's, you hear banging coming down, echoing off the, the things. There's this slight fear of, oh god, avalanche, but, you know. No, no I'm not big. <laughs> so when is Charm against the end? Charm? Yeah. It's basically against Discipline. Okay. Are you going to you gonna try Charm? I'm definitely going to try Charm. Okay, like so, this. so what is your Discipline skill? This it's going to be based on willpower. <laughs> if you have no ranks in, tr in discipline, it's just straight willpower. Yep. It's like the two. So two purple. Yep. As all of a sudden, Peter is bringing his Peter Machismo. I need next to the yellow. And he gives you the talk of, we are men of action. Lies to we are men us. about town. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, need a brand name. We are men at work. <laughs> and I come from a land down under. Yeah, you love us. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, so immediately, Peter is is giving you the charm, the machismo, the brotherhood, the camaraderie of, of, of airship people from around the world. You like me. You really, really like me. And, and you feel that it's the Star Wars game all over again. Yeah. <laughs> that he is like the big brother you always wanted. You're going to be like the bestest buddies even ever. Even though your body is probably 20 years older than him. But 
think of Step Brothers. Yes. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yes. 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 We did. Fix that. Dude, you want my arm? Choose my arm. <laughs> my arm. <laughs> Literally. I will hide any money for you. <laughs> <laughs> Including his own. <laughs> You've saved me. I am yours. Your disposal. Where, where we are going may be more dangerous than that ship you left. We will probably not be going someplace safe to drop you off. Are you sure you want to come with us? I tell you, there will be adventure, but there will also be danger. Can we count on you? Danger. <laughs> I think at this point I'm going to walk in. Like, as he's saying that. Well, we're as you're seeing <laughs> yeah. new guy talking to him and Scrapper is gone in the, in, in the you know, cargo. That's no. <laughs> as you're hearing echo yeah. of tinking metal down way, below. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're basically seeing this gentleman in his, his, his garb of many garments. Yes. Peter's giving him the schmooze with the, 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 the arm on the oh, shoulder. Oh, that's not a schmooze. With that's the, a total. With the booze. There's practically been Russian cheek kissing going on here. I, I was never burned for this. I'm going to come in. I'm going to give him the whole time. like, you look a bit gone. Uh. <laughs> do, do you want to give a medical roll? Yeah. Okay, so his well, mini you garments. you are the ship's doctor. His mini garments will add a blind to your dice. Garments. What is your deception skill, by the way? He needs to know that so he knows. Deception? It. Yep. So, I have two rankings in there. Ooh. And then a cunning plus four. Yeah. Okay. So, one black die? So, your cunning is what? Cunning is four. So, it's four dice on the negative side. And two of the, you have two ranks Sorry. in it? Yes. So should be two yeah. two purple, two red against your perception as you're looking at him and oh, plus the blue. Because you're on the ship. Well no, you get the black because he's got his guard with many guards. Yep. He's he's trying to conceal his his current condition, as we call it in the medical hmm. field. I got nothing. As I you're just like, you I mean, look I, at him. I got a lot of advantage is what I got. You <laughs> look at him and you're just like, dude, you're lucky to be alive. You know? <laughs> Man, your medical opinion is, dude, you look pretty good for being out there in the cold. Yeah. Thanks for these clothing yeah. right here. Yeah. Uh, four failure. Yeah. So you, you, you are completely phasing anything is out of the ordinary with this guy other than, dude, you, you need some coffee. You need some caffeine pills. Oh, yeah. I got those. <laughs> okay, so, so knock you right out. As you guys so are basically getting to know each other, you guys are hearing, you know, Scrapper shouting from uh, down below. And giggling. <laughs> Who's flying the ship? The ship stays the ship now. Parts. Yeah, because you know Scrapper wouldn't want to be left behind. Right. Yeah. I, I learned my lesson from plotting the trajectory of what we're following. As you know, Scrapper starts yelling at you guys to. Uh, she needs you to pull. Her up. Right. I'll do my job as, as helping whatever I do. Yeah, we don't need you. Well, we're, we're, a, we're strong men. There, there, there's a winch. No. There's a, <laughs> there's a lever. Uh, just that no. just that. Let me give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> and as immediately you guys grab the line and you think you're just going to pull her off, and all of a sudden you, re you realize there's weight It's a lot this. heavier than her. <laughs> uh, obviously she's tied her line to something. I think we can still do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead and uh, I'm assuming you guys are going to assist each other. Yes. Yep. Give me an athletics roll, which is going to be the combined best of the two of your abilities. Three. So, uh, you know I mean? yeah. just three. <laughs> as, as all of a sudden you're seeing this guy's going to start hulking out. He goes from skin. Now, what does your guy look like, by the way, since you're seeing oh, yeah. him for the first time? I. I I'm a slightly older gentleman, wearing a tweed jacket, you know, very Michael Faraday, you know, 1800s uh, professor look. Uh, I walk around with a cane, not leaning on it, but stylish. Walking stick. Yeah. Oh, you're one of those guys. Beating sticks. <laughs> and when he says beating stick, don't, don't worry. Wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, he'll use it on children. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, that's his trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> His childhood stick. <laughs> he goes ape man on people. Yep. 
Alright, how difficult? Uh, it's going to be against four purple. <laughs> I don't think we're going to survive. And, and, and are you going to Hulk out in front of him? Nah. Yeah. It's not really a thing I control. I can control when to do. Okay. Well, you can't with your caffeine pills. <laughs> I fail. As he's like, nyeh, nyeh, pulling on the rope, and you just see the rope gets hot. <laughs> as all of a sudden, as he's pulling it, Peter just flips the switch, and all the wench just starts pulling. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> As all of a sudden the lines were straight up and he's like, I'm getting it. And, and, you know, after a few seconds, Scrapper's head pops up and she, she's standing on top of s- this giant contraption. So a big old grin on my face. You have a massive grin on your face. Because all of a sudden you guys have to start helping her guide it through the opening because it's a little bigger than the opening of the, of the cargo area. And it is a medium Tesla cannon. Ooh! <laughs> Basically the equivalent of the ion weapons of the world. So it could like shut down a ship's ship without destroying the ship. It EMP EMPs. Yeah. yeah. Neat. EMP cannon. All it's a right. Tesla coil cannon because of course yeah. Americans need guns. Yeah. Because Americans. And Tesla Americans. did immigrate. <laughs> yep. Yeah. moved to New York. So you have a medium Tesla cannon. It's good for short range, does damage six, and its qualities are ion, which basically means it, 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 it does strain the vehicles instead of wounds. So it can shut down a ship for you. Neat. Once Scrapper puts it on the ship. Now this is basically a forward-facing weapon on your ship. It's not really a turret thing unless she were to make a turret for but usually most ships basically face it forward. I think we're forward. fine. We already have two turrets for killing things. Or a lot of really tricky ships put it pointing aft so, so they that can say screw you yeah. to anything chasing you. So are we going to be hunting down things we need to stop chasing us? Anything. Or running away from things we don't want to chase like anything, anything chasing us, we will blow out of the sky. We don't want to just knock them out and board them. We just want them dead. <laughs> but if we're going to hunt someone, we might not want them dead. We just want to point. force them to a landing. Guys, if we use this, we can keep the survivors, interrogate them, and learn more information. Listen, and immediately he's indoctrinating himself into the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we do. All right, I'm going to over-engineer the fuck out of this. We, we, we do it forward mounting, but we take the uh, balloon portion and the crew portion, and we put that on a turret so the whole thing can turn around. <laughs> you could do that. The gondola? The gondola itself will be the turret. <laughs> And next, he'll make it so the saucer section can disconnect. I mean, yes. she will make it, because she's the one who can do the contraptions. She's giving it all she's got. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. So, of course, she is, we cannot give her any more speed. She's breaking up. So you guys are bonding. When you said British, we didn't expect it. Uneducated British. Sorry. No, that's Scottish. Has British. Scottish. Did Russia sell Alaska in this world? Why did you take British? Did Russia huh? sell Alaska? No, Russia? Russia was about to sell Alaska, but then the empire was taken over. So did the U.S. and or Canada just take over Alaska? Nope. Alaska is still... still pretty much just free range Alaska where everyone comes and goes. Nobody really enforces sovereignty in Alaska. So the fishermen do their thing, the Eskimos do their thing, the hunter-trappers do their thing. There's so, nothing of value in Alaska, after all. Yeah, right. You weren't a state yet. I don't like this. But nobody's found black gold. Some of the best or a regular three-gen gold. character you were just a ever. at that point. Right, I know. For us. So, really, at this point, Alaska's main export is whale parts. Yeah, and yeah. seal skins. That's and it. seal skins. That's all right. No, mind you, whale point. parts are really expensive. Yeah. And ambergris when it's there is it's worth more worth, than gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay. So we get this this vague montage of the next four days as the crew so, gets there and Do I need to make a skull buggery roll to figure out why an American civilian ship 
is in between Turkey, China, and Russia with a forward pointing ether gun on it. It's, it's northern India. It's a non life threatening weapon if that makes you feel better. Yeah, you know, it's the type of weapon where you capture other ships and take it for ransom. <laughs> okay. So, the reason why we were out here was traveling, and I don't trust a lot of people out here for obvious reasons. Because America. Yeah, America. <laughs> America. And, America. 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 And as you can see from my crash site, I didn't. We didn't do so well, at defending off those invaders. Great guns, lousy piloting. Mm-hmm. Well, storm. So I out. thought you said the storm took thought, you down. Yeah, was it, it was the a ship? Storm. No, or it was the storm. The flash of light. <laughs> <laughs> it was a what? Flash of light. I mean, that calls for a deception roll. Well, from his point of view, maybe that's all it was. It's not like he's a pilot. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it's it's not like he's and, I, and I thought you said you were a passenger, not part of the crew. How would you know what its mission was? Ooh. Windows. I saw windows and then I saw a flash of light and then that's all. No, 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 no. You said that you were just a passenger. Yes. Okay. So how did you know what the ship's mission was if you were just traveling from one place to another? And all of a sudden the interrogator turns on. Yeah. When we were trying to, we were traveling around, I knew, we knew about the ion cannon, for obvious, because we're in Some foreign country. Fine. Yeah. And then last, and then when we went down, I just saw a flash of light, and then... And so where were you traveling from, and where were you traveling to? We are coming from America, Washington State, and then traveling to, I, that one I do not remember. You I don't just, remember? I don't remember. Reamnesia. <laughs> so like amnesia, but you have to be reanimated, Dad. Have you guys seen a community at all? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Chinesa. Ch- Chinesa. <laughs> Chinesa. <laughs> Chinesa. Constantinople. Mm-hmm. That's where you were. Maybe he's going because we were, going we were in Turkey. Back way to Could be. If you're in Seattle, could maybe be. going over in China. Yeah. Instead of going the other way around. It's, it's a less trip. It's no, they're probably about the same distance, if not longer in this direction. Yeah, but you don't have to fly past Thunderbird and the Tribal Lands. Well, you not well not only that, but you don't have to go through either the mad scientists. Or uh, Great Britain, or especially the Great Britain. Yeah, you know those power hungry Brits. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so you guys have or this, Germany. You or have this like four day montage as you're getting to know each other. Peter's, you know, going between you're my best friend and I don't trust you. But, yeah. You know, yeah. It's that's good a part for the course. Hilda like stuck her sexy leg out and face once, and then went back into the room, pulling him back in the well. room. Well. He may not trust him. He loves him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and eventually, you, you've got the map where you plotted the course of where you think, you know, you're going around, you're going to intersect. And you're like, hey, we had to have made up some ground of whoever was doing this was going over the freaking Himalayas, right? Yep. So you guys get to, like, you know, are you going to the first location that bisects the line, or are you going further down to, like, maybe get ahead? I see the, the first, first location. location. Okay, so you Let's go to the first thorough. location, and you're seeing it's, it's, it's a very backwater Tibetan town, you know, very primitive culture. People are happy with what they have. You got some yaks, you know, people covered in felt. They're excited. Children are coming from who knows where as soon as your airship is like hovering that it might even come close to the ground. Do we see any You evidence? guys are big stuff. You know, you're, you're big news. Do we see any evidence of whatever passing through here? You actually don't. Are we sure that the them. line bisects straight through this town? Give me an astrogation roll. It's going to be against three purple and a black. <laughs> <Ass>. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. You're pretty sure, but let's find out. I'm not so sure. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I feel with a threat. <laughs> you are absolutely sure this bisects exactly. Why are the people questioning you? Yes. It's I'm, I'm, I'm going to put on the goggles. Okay. Is you don't there need any, those. Is there any primal quintessence? 
Ooh. around this town? That's a good question. Go ahead and give me a um, I'm perception. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a. Oh, you and, and you're gonna enhance it. Through. Okay, so using your eyes or her goggles? No, she, he's Both. borrowing my goggles. But. Okay, so you slap on the goggles. You need to get extra goggles. Yeah, well, you can pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's the easy ones that I bought that I augmented. <laughs> yes. So go ahead and give me a perception. You get to add two blue to it, not counting your ship's one blue. And it's against two purple. But you know what? We have to upgrade that because there's so many points on my side that I have to use. So it's going to be. So one red. for the goggles, one for the ship, two extra blue? Yep. Okay. Nice. So this is. That's a threat. Two failure versus two success. This is a threat versus an advantage. Mm -hmm. So this is success to advantage. A success to advantage. Okay, so when you're coming over the town, you and me are point, pulling the goggles on, and you're you're on mission point. Yeah, you know what you're looking for. And you kind of scan around, and as you're looking, you're seeing little pinpricks of footsteps that look like they come into the village and then they disappear into like the myriad of mud and trampled stuff. Okay, so he came through the village. You, you are confirmed that yes, those burning footprints came into the village. Okay, so we want to, if we can, we want to go down, talk to these people and see what actually came through, but he didn't stop here. Okay, I guess oh, no. we're not going to put down here, we're going to fly over. Well, no, 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 no. we need to put down the top of because we want to see what's what. Else? Well, we want to know if it was our friend. We need to know if he was okay. We, we, I want Fine. to know what he looks like. So immediately Peter hits the anger button and the anger just comes flying down. Oh, I'm sorry. So, 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 so Hilda, you know, Hilda comes you out and he cutest to know, her. You wouldn't happen to know any of the Oriental languages, would you? No, no, no. I, I unfortunately I have, I have one failing, and that's the, the uh, I after you pass the Himalayas, my 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 lips are almost useless for you. Okay. Almost. almost your lips are never. And she's got the cutest little fur outfit on that you realize she's just wearing this this little fur hoodie that looks absolutely amazing on her, and you're just like, guys, I need five minutes. Okay, I need 15, 25 tops. <laughs> How about the American? Do you do you have do you know any languages? Like He's say, American. Like He's say Tibetan. He speaks English. Yeah. He doesn't speak English. <laughs> he speaks he American. Speaks American. 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 We mug other languages for the words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, so you know. Okay. So I think the two of us need to go down and see if any of them speak any language that we know. Alright. Okay. So are you landing landing the airship or just letting no. them use the okay. Gonna... As as literally there's a circle of people that are like, ooh airship maybe they brought mail or food or candy or something cool. How much paper do we have on the ship? I'm pretty sure you'd have a couple sheaves, you know? You, you got her designing stuff and you designing, okay, you know, okay. formulas. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Maybe I have a tin of cookie biscuits. Biscuits. Of course bickies. you would. I'm going to have a tin of biscuits. I'll bring them to the kids. Okay, so you guys step on the little rope platform and get dropped down. Okay, okay what are very majestic. What's that? Looking very majestic. Some Making sure you got just the right <laughs> number of explore buttons unbuttoned. As you're I got down. most of the grease off. <laughs> most. Oh, no, no, it's just the two of it's us. It's just smeared. If you don't mind. Oh, Not the two of the kids. The, oh, you and Hilda. Yes. Oh. As, you know, she makes that face when Hilda sneaks up next to you and just gets enveloped in your arm. Like, fine. As you hear, you know, ooh, from a lot of these guys looking at her legs that go on for days. Cause she's going to freeze in that outfit. Okay, so you know, the circle of course parts so you guys can step off and people are like, you know, touching her furs. No, they're not touching her. 
because they're not touching on the little ladies. Okay. And then immediately, you know, the, your people are wanting to know what you're doing. They're just does, throwing out a slew of languages. Yes. We go through the languages. The okay, so, so finally at one point someone pops off with Russian. Very, very muddy Mongolian Russian, but it's it's, it's passable okay. Russian. So they get, we would go through, let's see, English, French, German, somebody Italian. Is Italian. Not, not yet. Not they, yet. They, they've Russian. started with Asia. Oh, and, oh and yes. And we're, we're like we're Russian? Yeah. Ah, okay, so Russ, we're, we're Russ. Russ. Yeah, Russ, Russ. Russ. Uh, and and, and this, this, obviously, he seems to be a traveler, you know, the area, because he's got, you know, a little hodgepodge of clothing from different locations, and he's like, what are, you, what, are, what are you doing here? I mean, are you bringing us mail packages and, and goodies from, from, from across the land? We're following the footsteps. And, and as soon as you see the footsteps, he kind of, you can tell he's translating for the people, and apparently people take like three steps back. And a hush immediately falls over the crowd. Yeah, they know something. <laughs> so, so are you going to pull the rope back up for, for you to come down? Um, yeah, I'm gonna come down. Okay, so so as as as, as he kind of gestures for you to come as you're surrounded by people. Got a tin of pickies for the kids. <laughs> so is anyone getting on with her? And she's yeah. getting on. Okay, so you're getting on next to her. And as as, as you, he, he kind of gestures for you to get close to him because he doesn't want to say this too loud because you may be overheard in Russian. Oh, and he's Russian. like. The, you seek the one who leaves the footprints. Yes. You, 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 you know to be cautious. Of course. You must go up to the temple, and super dramatically, you follow his fingers, he points, and, and you see this huge line of like steps carved into the mountain, and they go up and they disappear into the clouds. I just had a vision of Clue in the movie. <laughs> Why is the car stopped? It's frightened. <laughs> <laughs> you must go to the temple and speak with the master. Yes, we were searching for a master. We had a feeling that he would go to a master. What's so, the master of? Did you see? I I only know what I what I heard from from some of the old men that were awake that yesterday morning, and, and it, you you want to be very careful. What did they see? They they, they saw the, the, the man. He, he he's 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 like you of, of different complexion though. And and he was bearing wearing no clothes at all. And that that is shocking as a, as as it should be in this area, but but from from what we we heard the the the, the landlord came down and, and the man touched him and he turned to ash. Oh shnikey. How can I imbue my beating stick with this power? It's <laughs> to ash. It's now the ash stick. <laughs> it's made of ash wood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't make me ash you again. <laughs> Is there still snow on the ground? Oh yeah, there's still snow on the ground. Okay. When we were going down, mm -hmm. does the footprints look like they were melting the snow? They they definitely look like they were melting. But okay. as soon as you got pretty much to like the city, right. the footprints disappear into the travel of all the oxen and right. people, and okay. you know it's it's like a constant slurry of muck, mud, and down. Okay. So, but it wasn't as if there's clay where it's his. It, it, so it wasn't hot enough to turn the mud into clay. No, no. Okay. And pretty much, you notice that once the steps came into town, there's no signs of him going up these stairs that you've been pointed to or anything like that. It seems like this, that either he's cooled off or he's in control of himself enough that he's not leaving these glowing footprints. I, well, no, I thought you said it went through the town and then off. But once it went into once town, it, went... it kind of muck, muck, blends in with the muck of the city streets. Right, so but once it left town, town, we can follow the footprints. It, it never left town. Oh, cause, no, because. Okay, sorry, I misunderstood what you said initially. Oh, okay. I thought you said that it went through the town and then back out. Yeah. No, no, it just goes into town and then stops. And then oh. you basically lose track because there's, okay. there's cart tracks and things going down the roads. And the roads, thankfully, go almost in a straight line. Almost. 
basically because the first person that takes their cart out, they go in a straight line with those wheels. And everyone follows the first guy who breaks the ice. It's about like Tucson. Oh, it's a straight. Ish. Ish. And of course, you know, people are like offering you blessings and you know, old man comes out and starts smacking you with this green plant of some kind, giving you blessings, you know. And, and you know, the little lady comes up and she's like so trying to give her treats. Is already looking? Do any of them have any primal or are they just... Give me a perception and it says you're looking to see if any of them have any primal ability of ethermancy. Interesting. Versus... It's going to be four purple. Because you're looking into their soul. As, as all of a sudden, Scrappa comes down with her big tin of Bickies, big shit grin on her face. And it's, do you say anything about your biscuits? So, yeah. Lots as of soon failure, as lots you of open your tin of biscuits, children yeah. come running around for her, bicky, her biscuits. And you, you look with your so eager red. eyes. Oh, no, actually. Actually, what? Okay, so triumph, two fail. Triumph and two failures? That's better than I thought. Okay, so with your goggles on, with you using your ether, mm -hmm. you do see, now that you're concentrating on just ether, quite a few, especially the elderly, have a really healthy ether glow around them. Healthier than someone of their age should have with poor nutrition and things. It's almost like they're fortified. Are any of them trying to give me blessings? Well, they're just like blessings onto you, you know. It's, it's not actual blessing blessings. It's not powered blessings. It's just okay. them giving you wayward travel or blessings. Hello. Good, good journey. Yeah, safe journeys okay. to you. Not. Yeah. Okay. Not actual buffing blessings. No. no. It's okay. just, just the traditional blessing of the guests that come to your town so that way more guests come because it's polite. And then all of a sudden, the kids start losing so, their shit when she's got cookies. She's got cookies. So, is there is there an elder that seems to have more power than the others? The, there is an old man meditating against the road there that just seems to be meditating, looking at something in the ground, and uh, it's something moving in the ground. You, you don't know exactly what it is, but okay. but he he seems to be while he's breathing. Mm -hmm. And just meditating on oneness with everything around him, you sense that he is probably an ethermancer of some kind. Probably like you, a prime. Okay. As he's tapping into nature around him. So I, I will I will walk over towards him. Okay. As his thing. And not say anything. Okay. And wait until he Acknowledges, acknowledges you. Me. Okay, so it's going to be a few little minutes. Little. Oh, I'm, as, I'd be, I'm just yeah. glad it wasn't three hours. Yeah. Because that's uh -huh. what those type as, of people do. As Hilda's walking over to you, and she's like, what are we doing? And then you give her the finger, and she's like, wrinkle on the nose, just one little wrinkle. But she's like, okay, we'll, we'll wait. And you two have landed, and the, the gentleman that was talking to Peter comes up to you and says, so uh, what? your fr your friend, he's, he seems to be busy with, with oh, oh. Old man Cho, what are, you, what are you doing here? I mean, are you delivering something? Are you picking something up? Are you willing to take passengers back with you? Um, well, not exactly Do you sure. have more cookies? As he smacks a kid, takes the cookie, and eats it. Hey! It's nope. my brother. It's okay. He shouldn't be eating sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lend one tin of bickies. Sorry. Oh, uh, and he, like, takes only one bite of the cookie and gives it back to the little kid. I'm not sure where next destination is, but we're trying to track this person. Well, well, when you find him, can you take someone with you? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Get me out of this photo town. <laughs> I'm too big for this place. You're getting that, that's definitely the impression you're getting from him. That he, he would be interested in you say, yes, come on board. Well, sometimes we take passengers, but Captain would have to decide. Is, is he the captain? And he points over at Peter. Yes. I'm on the ship. I'm not the captain. Ooh. 
and, and he kind of like slowly says, well, well, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> if you, you need something easy. Because I have no perception practically, I'd rather let yeah. him. <laughs> so he, he, Just, po he points out to a hovel of the way that, that that's, that's grandmother Sue's place. If you need food, she's got hot yak's milk and, and oats, you know, that's, that's her specialty. Wait, deception or perception? Huh? Deception or perception? Both. I'm not very good at either. Same <laughs> thing. Because I was gonna Hot say, buttered yak milk, uh, just like Grandma used to make. I was gonna say, yeah. if we do bring them all, we could probably get some money out of this. That, well, I mean, he would have to pay as if, if he was a passenger, you know, as a. Can I take that idea to him? Sure. Yeah. Hey. Me, I'll fly with the kids. So, 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 immediately you notice the the gentleman that was talking to you in Russian comes up and he just kind of stands up too, like he'd like to talk to you. You give him the finger too, as you're just like, as as after about thirty minutes, all of a sudden you just see this smirk on this old man's almost toothless face, as all of a sudden he like peeks one eye looking up at you, just like like a little kid. He's got that that. That little cherub angel kid face of an old man as he looks at you and he gestures for you to sit down. The second child sit down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as he basically gestures for you to, to pantomime his movements and sit and meditate. So, what are you guys doing while he's sitting and meditating? Hilda, this might take a while. Take care of what these two people want. Uh, and actually, at this point, I'll be going Italian, which I'm pretty sure nobody here is going to know. Okay. Italiano. And obviously, Parmigiano. I don't think this town has any gold in it. But who knows what valuable things it might have. Oh, you're giving her a mission. Okay, so, so Hilda will immediately say, uh, food's on her. You guys want to go for food? And she turns to him and asks him. Because it should be good at a minimum. Yeah. And, and asks him where's a good place to get something good to eat and maybe some warmer clothing. Because pretty much he's freezing at this point. The ship. The ship's a good place to <laughs> We have plenty. As you're seeing, are, are you guys going with her to, to the food place? Sure. As all of a sudden poor Scrapper is taking like three steps and all of a sudden her ears pick up. As I go to the cogni, her ears pick up the clatter, clatter, plink of an engine that's out of tune. Oh. Clatter, clatter, pink. Clatter, clatter, I'm going to follow clatter, the sound. Clatter, pink. Give me a perception. I'll give you blue dice because it's an obvious rhythmic sound. that you, Now that you've walked away from the engine of the ship, you know that one cylinder has died and the other cylinder is screaming in death of a little two-stroke engine. Perception? Yep. Okay, against? Again, against two, two purple and a black. Blue. Because I'm on the ship? Well, no, or because, you know, no. It's, it's a rhythmic noise that you're hearing. It's kind of your thing. Ooh. Okay, um, I got some thread here. Dice are good. But I got today. two yeah. successes and one threat. So immediately you're tracking where this little generator is that's making this noise. And you're realizing this Because it's not healthy. It's, it's a sad, sad little generator that you see is like half frozen. It's got water coming out of the exhaust. You can tell they've been pouring. They open it while snowing and pour gasoline in and, and during the snow. So there's water in the engine. And this po and no it's one, not happy. No one who has mechanical skill has touched it besides... Young man Poe, who's like third generation Poe's, who kicks it five times until it starts working. Because of maintenance. Uh, it has its point. I mean, I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Okay, so and immediately the little lady comes out and she's like, no, 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 just stopping you from touching it. And I'm like, I just whip out tools. <gasps> oh! Oh! And I point to it. It's like a point to it with my... Oh, and immediately she like runs inside and comes out and puts a young boy next to you. <laughs> and, and, and then the boy like opens up a little table for you to put your tools on. And he <laughs> basically hovers awesome. there watching you. Okay, I'm going to teach him how to fix it. 
And, and basically the boy is intently watching you until all of a sudden he gets yelled at and he goes back inside the hobble and comes back out with warm tea. It's, it's some kind of really tasty, tasty Thai tea. Um, what's the... Uh, basically two purple. You can use, and it's a black dice because the horrible condition oh, it's we in. found our great thing. <laughs> Knowledge. Tea. <laughs> We are uh, British. Okay. Well, I got two we successes will kill for and two and literally. one advantage. I'm dunking in the mm-hmm. Oh yeah. No, right. the two okay. successes. You and easily one you've lost track of her because she's working on this engine. She's in her 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 happy space. Loss. Mm-hmm. She's making <laughs> this engine purr. As all of a sudden the thing glows was coming off some of these lights actually becomes light because it's actually this generator is working at, you know, at least 60% capacity compared to the 10% it was. As you're pulling off corrosion, you're cleaning the heads on this thing, the spark plug need to be replaced, and you're just like, this is horrible. It looks like it fell well, off I a truck so. and then like dragged up I got one by a little yak. portable oil uh, it's impressive that she's doing this while it's running. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at that one point, she hooks her battery, her tool pack to the power line so that inter- it doesn't interrupt any of the lights. Because as all this runs is lights. They have a string of lights that they thankfully managed to pull out the bad ones so they can keep the daisy chain going. And, and, and the old man is just meditating with you this whole time. Just, just meditating. And, and, and then... As you know, you guys are being fed. You know, you're realizing, wow, it must be really cold for Peter on that cold ass ground next to the old man. And the old man, all of a do sudden, I, do I need to primal myself to not be cold? You can if you want. Or do I need to? But you, if you would like to spend the two strain, you can activate your primal ethermancy to keep yourself warm. As all of a sudden, your skin becomes yeah. warm to the touch, and a slight fog of warmth comes off of you, melting the snow under your butt. Let's do that. It sounds like you just peed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> and as all of a sudden, while you're sitting there like locked in, the in your meditation, <laughs> the pool is frozen. Give me a discipline roll for your meditation. To keep from peeing. <laughs> <laughs> you're very comfortable now. There's a discipline is something uh, I do not have. Well, you can still still roll it. It's going to be against two purple. This is how you're maintaining your comfort level while meditating on cold, frozen ground. It's something we are going to miss. Discipline was the only thing <laughs> that Aaron had. Either man's team discipline. Yeah, he rocked was... the world. So go ahead and give me a roll. You can't pull the lights out if you want to burn it. Not for okay. If I am Russian, if I am discomforted, I am discomforted. Is... I am discomforted. I, I care. But I do not care. So, so you've been living on a ship. So, what did you? What's your end result? Two threat. Two threat. So you go ahead and two strain as you're trying not to nod off from the cold or shiver. You're trying to be the Russian bear. You're trying not to be affected by this cold. But goddamn, this cold is seeping in your fucking you've bones been right a soft now. Soft life. I've, so been, I've been living way too soft, way too long. As as all of a sudden you are extremely uncomfortable, and then that's when your primal kicks in, and you just start warming up because you're using your primal, you know, your primal ethermancy. Like. Screw this, I'm getting warm. And all of a sudden, in this sweet, soft, old voice, you hear, Are you not comfortable, brother? In perfect Russian. Now he pees himself. <laughs> in my head, or. Do, are your eyes still closed? Because remember, you're closed and meditating like the old man was showing you to do. And the first thing he kept doing was gesturing, Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And now follow my motions with your eyes closed. I am following his motions with my eyes closed. Can I sense if his eyes were open? Mm, you can peek. No, I'm not talking about peek? peeking. I'm okay. talking about can I sense. Give me a uh, roll for your ethermancy. Because you're opening your ethermancy eye. Versus? It's going to be against three purple. This is still something you're learning. You're getting good at this, but you're still learning. Oh, that guy's hated being in your hands so long. So this is... This oh, thank is, God for that yes. guy. That is that. 
one success. One, one success. success. You sense, yes. you, as you're meditating, you're in that place. You count it down to zero and disappeared into the zero during your meditation. You are seeing a golden outline of this little old man looking right at you, but not with his eyes, but with his ev everything. Okay. And you realize he is not moved in the, the visualization that you had during your meditation of him sitting there. Okay. And then, I, I will reply in Russian, and this is an old Russian saying, this world is not meant for comfort. Now, do you say this, or I, do you speak with your I mind? I speak with my mind. And then he goes, ah, you are wise for one so young. Who is it you see? Send an image of the Ethermancer. Mm -hmm. Send actually the image of the bomb, the image of the footprints. Why do you bring such painful thoughts here? And he, you know he's gesturing about the bomb. This this is not of nature. This is a, a accident of mankind. Such horrible things should never be brought to conception. This is no toy like your ship. This... Give him the sense of the evil spirit thing, which never actually came, so that's really mm -hmm. just kind of a weird evil... Ooba -ooba. Ooba -ooba that was, like, taking over other people, which one of the few things I'm scared of. Mm -hmm. um, and I will admit that. Uh -huh. Fucking thing that takes over your mind, I'm scared. Uh -huh. um, and quintessence blowing up. Okay, so uh, immediately you see he's like flashing through your vision sometimes. And then all of a sudden, you know, he, if the vision focuses on your ether master. Jennifer, can you use ether in your math science? I, mean, I just can. Yeah, I, I don't have any skill with ether hermancy itself, but like, there's ether tech. And, and he immediately fixates, and you realize that the image of your ether mentor friend is between you both, and you, you ping emotion. Yeah, and he's like, your friend you seek, he is with you. Uh, slash to the hair in the bottle. As immediately you feel, and you see in the image, he, he, he lifts his hand up and he meditates, and he touches you right here in the chest. Oh, he's in your heart. Oh. And you start to get the feels, and then you realize when he taps again, that there's the jar with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> As you're like, my heart, oh, oh yeah, it's in my pocket. Oh. Your breast pocket. Yes. As you carry him with you. Is I carry a or? portion of him with me. He is strong with the oneness. Yes. Well, some would say he's... He's strong with the with force. <laughs> you should speak with the master if you seek him. It's the second time to meet the master. Would we just be able to go up? Oh, and he just gives you this this hand gesturing where you know the stairs are. Mm -hmm. All are welcome to see the master if you can make the climb. Not all are strong enough in mind and body and spirit to make the climb. But those who do find their burdens lifted and their answers almost assuredly answered. I still want to take the leadership up. You can take the leadership up. No, we Cut to me walking up the stairs like, ah, oh, this is a really nice bathroom up here. <laughs> <laughs> Running water. Who knew? Guy comes up to the pipes and goes, Hot water comes out. Miyagi's the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Is there any other interesting And he just kind of like puts his hands and waves them over your head and your shoulders. And you're, you're feeling the warmth that you think he might actually be doing this in the real world because you're feeling the warmth of his hands around your head. He's like, leave your burdens behind. You are not responsible for the past. You are only responsible for the gift that is the present and where you direct it to the future. 
Lighten your heart. Forgive yourself of what you had to do. And of course, you know, this is vague. Yeah, you know, yeah, right. Chinese yeah. poetry yeah. 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 stuff. But you're, you, you, it, it's pinging a chord inside you of like, oh God, everyone's got the thing. You bastard, you're <laughs> pinging the things. Thank you. Get up. And, 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 and you have a blue dice to your next discipline roll, by the way. You feel your heart is lighter. And, and all of a sudden you get up and he kind of like winks with one eye and smiles this big, you know, he's only got like five teeth and they're not next to each other. And as he just gives you this like wink. Look around, try and find Kilbo or any of the other group. Uh, they seem to have wandered off doing different things. You're hearing this, uh, this perfectly tuned generator that you weren't hearing earlier. That you pretty much, when you're meditating, blot out all sounds. Okay. There's a huge crowd down the street, which is obviously telling you where everyone is at. Okay, I, I will go down there. As, as, as all of a sudden you see this little old lady pull out this, this, this radio, and she's running down with it, and it looks like it's been dropped and broken into a couple different pieces with wire and things. And people are just plopping things in front of scrap. <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, all right, tinker time. <laughs> I'll start fixing stuff. <laughs> okay. And, 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 you, know, you guys realize he's been, he's been meditating on the sidewalk for at least two or three hours. And you're realizing there's this beautiful, warm, dry spot where you've been sitting. And moist. Are you getting off the ship? Or are you protecting it? I'm gonna put up my doctor. The doctor is in sign. Ah, that's <laughs> awesome. And as soon as you put the the, the the caduceus doctor's in sign, apparently some people immediately start congregating. All right, I'll yeah. usher them into my lab. Okay, so the, the, you drop the branch. Steal their nests. Keep <laughs> their children with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they steal. <laughs> <laughs> and people will actually come to you for for, for medical attention. Okay. I'll start treating them. So Aww. you're noticing it's it's basic things like like one lady comes in, she has like osteoporosis, you know, things. Yeah. But you notice that she's had like multiple broken legs from accidents and they've healed amazingly well. Like we're talking she had medical attention to heal them. Okay. But she's like, Oh, when went to temple, thanks. Okay. You know, and then you're realizing that these people basically just, you know, vitamins would go a long way here. Or vitamin special doctor's vitamins. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll. I'll. I assume I have a decent stock of oh, yeah. vitamins, but also I have all the chemical holes necessary. Start to making your own concoction. So. Oh, I, I. I guess I'm gonna kind of look out the window towards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look out uh, the window towards uh, where I saw them and go off. And do I see Peter still meditating, or is he currently walking up? The oh, this 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 would be hours later that Peter stops meditating. So you got okay, time. Yeah. I see him sitting there like, all right, ain't their shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> not Hokum. my problem. You're like, hokum. This not is not my, my problem. This is my real purpose. medicine. Uh, not hokum. It's just not my problem. Okay. So oh, I'm going to uh, begin the process of making more. And I'm going to start administering vitamins and also any minor medical needs that they might have. Okay. So go ahead and give me your medicine roll that you're making your special tonic pill. Or are you going strictly for tonic? Tonic. Okay. You're filling up all these little paper cups for each person to just take one of these multivitamins. Yep. And it's basically just too purple. It's not like you're making a healing potion. Yeah. You're basically <laughs> making a healing potion. As you basically are seeing folks and giving them these little pick-me-up shots that days from now they're going to be feeling amazing. You give them a basically general once over of, you know, you need to eat more vegetables, you need to eat less red meat, you know. You need to eat more red meat. Is I'm yak they red have meat? red meat. Yak, <laughs> red, yak, meat. yak, yak red meat. meat. <laughs> yak milk cooked properly is red meat. <laughs> so, so after a while, you've been treating a few people that come in, and a lot of them are hesitant, but after like the second one's like, go see the doctor! And they pick up the little ladies that can't walk to come to see Aww. you and be checked out. And Why can't they walk? Because they're old. 
Can I fix that? <laughs> <laughs> One of the little old ladies, go ahead and give me a medicine check. It's going to be against a red and two purple. And then when you're asking her the questions, obviously you think this little, little old lady is lying to you because she's like, I'm 148 years old. That's doubtful. You're like, yeah, your math is off. Triumph, uh, two failures, and a bunch of advantage. You basically give her a once over, give her some medicine, some electrolysis to her spine, and she's able to walk fine on her own afterwards. And then you're looking at her footprints and fingerprints, you're like, maybe she is that old. <laughs> it's very wrinkly. Yes. As you know, you basically get her and she, she, she pinches your cheeks and you know, wants to give you one of her great, great, great granddaughters. <laughs> I, I don't particularly want one of her great, 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 great granddaughters. It'd be for marriage. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean, here, if she's about 140, that makes a great, 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 great granddaughter. Probably in the realm of like 10 to 15, well, which is just the right age for beating. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait a second. If he's one forty, great, 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 yeah, granddaughter, granddaughter. So that's one more generation. Would be thirty-five-ish, thirty. Yeah. Way wish. old, way old for marriage. Well, still. She Whatever stayed at the temple. Is, nice stay, keep sure you keeps her young. Keeps her young. So basically, if you, you know, you've rejoined the group. He's finished okay. doctoring so, the people that trust Western medicine. Apparently, <laughs> he went up the temple. To go up the temple, you got to go up the stairs. All right. There's stairs. Go They're up. mystic stairs. Do we want to do this as a group, or you, or should I go up alone? Listen, why don't you go up alone, and I'll go up with the airship. <laughs> we'll pick you up. <laughs> there's, there's, always, the pilgrimage, buddy. there's always a millionaire that wants a helicopter to the landing zone. I like you a lot, but I don't like walking, so. America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was the 1880s, so we did walk yeah, there. Every, 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 no, we rode a horse. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to wait, wait, wait. So it's, it's stairs, right? Yeah, it's stairs. How, it's like, how, how tall is each step? Normal stairs. It's just that it looks to be 4,000 steps. Listen, we have a motorcycle. <laughs> no, you probably don't think wet stone steps on a motorcycle would be something you don't I want see, the person to I do. see wet yeah. stones. Can I try to convince you to, for you to try it? No, I'm going to fly it. <laughs> we have an airship. We have an airship. But if you don't want to ride and you don't want to walk, but we're not the ones motorcycle. making a pil pilgrimage, so to speak. Uh -huh. to so, so what is what is Peter gonna do? Is, is the group seems to not have your spiritual connection? Can I walk without them knowing? You, you, are you gonna sneak off? Yeah. Like while they're still talking, you're yeah, gonna, I'm gonna sneak like off? sneak off, like going up the steps. Go ahead and give me a stealth roll. All right. So let's now, go. who's got the best perception of the group? That's yeah. Peter. <laughs> That's Peter. You're not by your airship, so. I thought we were eating. No, no, you're, you're, you're out where they're eating food in the town. Okay. So what's your perception? So he knows what he's doing. My perception to is um, one red, three cunning. So one red, three purple against your spell. One red, two purple. Uh -huh. Right, one yeah. red, two purple. Huh. Wow. <laughs> that was... Huh. <laughs> so, so you have one failure, yeah. one threat, and three advantages. So you end up with no success. So basically, the group kind of sees you skulking off as you, you're kind of like treading off as like you stepped on a chunk of snow. And well, like, hey, Hello, Richard. We're like, what's the new guy doing? <laughs> and, as, and are you, in the, you know that they see you. So are you continuing up to the stairs? I'm going to let them know too. Well, I'm just going to go up the stairs, guys. Okay, so he's 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 heading up the stone steps. Hopefully, I can lead by example. Uh, America goes America. first. Okay, so are are you gonna follow after Peter, or are you gonna let him get a nice head start? Okay, so immediately you like break off and, and immediately go double step to catch so, up to him. Let me tell you about these steps. How much 
magic have you seen in the world? None. Do you even believe in ether magic? That's a. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the engine of airships fly, so it's kind of a pseudoscience. I was gonna say that's that's witchery right there. This <laughs> is the animated corpse. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody should believe in either man's ears. <laughs> he doesn't see the tank of either man's yeah. in his spine that keeps moving. I'm trying to like play it off that I'm still human, you know. Oh, uh-huh. in your, your garment of many garments? Yeah. <laughs> well, so you guys are heading up the stairs talking to each other? Yeah, this is a mystic place. And okay, most listen. mystic places <laughs> Want people with pure heart. Ooh. If that's true, there's no way I'm getting out. Oh, dang. I'm not saying anything about him. Yeah. Oh. I'm saying, if that's true, there's no yeah, way I'm probably. getting out. <laughs> that person's okay. like, trying to talk about me secretly. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was left handed, now he's right handed. Yeah. <laughs> So okay. I kind of start like, oh, crap. So, so he's, he's getting he, deep and metaphorical with you there. He's like, if I, uh, if it's true, I won't be able to make it. Aww. Oh, it's like, two right. scoundrels are coming out to each other. Yeah. <laughs> you walked in at the perfect time. <laughs> oh, boy. So, so what are you guys doing? Is you, it's your, your apparently footsteps are getting heavier one after another. I can't another. give you any advice. Who knows what's up there? But this is good. Hmm. Oh. Well, and it's up to you. As all of a sudden, she brings up more news, and the people lose their crap on the the city or not. Citrus. I start taking the vitamin C pills out of the cups. Oh yeah. You could die. You know, I think I left the AC on in the in the ship. Okay, the ship's already taken off. The ship's already taken off. In fact, it's you flying should, overhead as he says that. You should run because they're about to take off. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you're turning back? Yeah. Give me an athletics roll going down. So, so you're, so you're going to try to run to the ship because you're hearing the engines starting up in the airship. Let's do this. Now, are you leaving without uh, Scrapper? Because she's still fixing stuff, I'm assuming. I mean, it's been hours. Yeah. Trust me, people keep bringing her things. <laughs> She's probably fine. All right, let's do this. Okay, as you and me, they're going to turn tail and run down the wet, icy steps safely with your three purple that you're rolling against. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I think it was... Oh, I don't, I don't see what it well. It's just two threat. Just two threat. <laughs> Just two threats. So, so go ahead and take two strain as you're running down. At one point, you step just wrong on a step. Oh, no. You kind of slide and bounce. You know that bounce yeah, step? Yeah, from the You know, where you don't fall, but you recover before you, 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 you Reach really divide. fumble. <laughs> and you manage to get back as, you know, are you, are you're going up the ramp into the airship. Yep. As you kind of do the double take, you notice that, that uh, Scrapper's got a huge, you know, entourage of helpers. You know, everyone is watching how she's fixing things, trying to learn how she's doing it. There's no way they can recreate it just from watching it, but they're no. watching like they want to learn. They cannot imitate my genius. As all of a sudden they're doing her, her mannerisms and trying to, trying to trying to mime her. It's absolutely adorable because there's a small group of people that are like playing with little girls with sticks, trying to act just like her. <laughs> As you know, you come running down, you see him going up the rack because he did this double take like anybody get out of the airship. Is it just gonna be me? And, and you go running to catch up with him. As Peter's going up, and you just crest the spot where it's pure mist, mm-hmm. and each wet step on the, the stone is going further, and you're just seeing white fog cloud. But, but you're, you're feeling this, mm-hmm. this presence around you. Go ahead and give me a discipline check. It's going to be against normally two purple, but we're going to upgrade it for flavor. Don't forget your free blue. And you have that free blue. As you're having your little pseudo shangri moment. 
What is it you're thinking about right now? His image of demise. Food. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your discipline plus a blue with a purple and a red. Yeah. This is my discipline. This is the blue. I think we find your dump stat. No, it's just a purple and a red. I thought one you, you one upgraded. One purple, one red. Actually, oh. I just said two purple. One purple and one red. Because yeah. he upgraded. Oh. Yeah, <clears throat> it was two purple. I upgraded okay. it to a purple and a red. That would be impossible otherwise. No, I'm it's thinking, never I'm, I'm thinking of the answer. Nice Statistically, so, though, it's right. and the, the, the heavy. Head you know what? I will give you a blue dice for the heaviness of the vial of his hair against your breast as you're breathing and pulling in that thin air as you just want to find him. I have the purple hair. Yeah. Well, it's been imbued. All right. These poor guys looking like, if only I had a talent to help us out. Ooh. Not bad. At least so not in a horrible way. This is... Those are both threats. Two threats. Uh-huh. So this is four successes. Okay, so four successes after as, as you feel as you're going up the steps, you feel your feet lightening. The air is somehow has, has more oxygen that's filling your lungs, and you're feeling invigorated, and you're feeling this this positive glow in in the, the fog and the wisps surrounding you. You feel all of a sudden you, you practically can hear a little audio hallucination of you as a child playing in the white fluffy snow enjoying yourself and it's it's bringing joy to you you know an unconscious smile just slaps across your face as you know you see your father like catching you playing in the snow and giggling and some 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 heartfelt moment with your family and then all of a sudden just you're feeling at your height of joy you see a little montage of, of pleasant images with your, your crewmates. Mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden, the last image that you see and hear is his tentacles, because why not? <laughs> and, and, and you just feel this pure, lighthearted joy as you see the wisps of the clouds thin, mm -hmm. and you see the outlines of a temple. And the doors crack open. And just as the doors crack open, and you step onto the top of the plateau, mm -hmm. That's a good place to wrap it up there. <laughs> as everything fades to dark, as you're feeling amazing. And you still have that blue die. Because Peter is amazing. You are amazing. I am amazing. And then a few seconds after that, you're hearing boom, 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 of the airship breaking through the, the must of clouds. But we're gonna see what happens when someone makes their piloting roll piloting through sheet white clouds. Please don't kill me. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. You trust him? That's your mistake. Well, it's a good thing I'm not rolling it right so now. I, 